Man, I'm so tired. I just need to like take a break. Give me some of my coffee. Maybe get a nap. You feel that way too? You ever been out riding around? And you just need to stop. Take you know, a few minutes. Maybe take your nap. Well, that is considered urban camping. And that can be a security threat to you, to your health, and to your vehicle. So, you need some cover and concealment. Today, we'll go over cover and concealment and camping out inside that big city. How to do it safely and not get caught, hopefully. So, until we get there, you know what we do. The legend, the, the myth, myth, the man. man. Big Daddy Bam Bam. Hey, hey, hey. Chicken wing. Hello and welcome. Enjoy. If you don't know, man, you're on the free show. All right, and welcome to the Freak Show. I'm your host of the most, of course. Uh, you ever just been out riding around and you know maybe you're on a trip and you're going through some town and you need somewhere to crash out for a little while because your hands are just sore and your rear ends got that saddle butt going on and you just want to lay down for a couple hours get some rest before you have to get up maybe you know it's rush hour and you just want to get a you know nap in before you know sleep through rush hour get up and get on your way after all the traffic calms down well you're in that city you can camp out some places it's not legal so disclaimer find out if it's not illegal is a sick bird unless you get caught now let's first thing you need to know how to cover and conceal in the military everybody's taught well infantry i know i can't say everybody but infantry thought cover and conceal what's the difference okay if a bullet starts flying at you get cover grab cover climb under some Cover is a physical, something physical that will stop you, stop, you know, the avenues of approach, whether it be a bullet or that local neighborhood cop that's coming to tell you to move about your way. That is your cover. Um, some people who hunt, some people who do strategics, strategize, however you want to say that, they know that there is funnels there is all kind of things cover you can climb underneath your car if you do that be sure the car is not going to move uh you don't want to get run over while you're sleeping you won't wake up you'll take a really long sleep on that one there cowboy avenues of approach cover can stop any avenues of approach let's say you're sleeping against a fence or you got four sides of the fence around you that is Stopping that is an approach. It's not so much cover as it's not gonna stop everything, but it's a form of cover. So you want to find somewhere where you know if somebody's approaching you, an animal might be approaching you, or if you know you don't want to be in the wide open. Uh, you can camouflage yourself being wide open. That would be concealment. Concealment's hiding yourself. What you want to do is first thing you want to do is you got to think of where your vehicle is going to be and where you're going to be. Who's going to be able to find you? Who's going to approach you? Who might approach you? What kind of animals might approach you? Uh, all that. That's your cover and concealment. So let's say you stop at a Walmart. Okay. You're going to look around. Of course, your vehicle is going to be okay in that Walmart overnight. For mo the most part. Uh, truck stop. You know, you want to make sure that your vehicle is okay wherever you're gonna park it at you know don't park it next to the gas pump where it's gonna get run over by 18-wheeler you know park it out of the way somewhere where you know you don't want to be too far away from it at the same time you don't want to be right next to it. you know uh sometimes y'all know i do a lean-to on my motorcycle if it's kind of nasty weather outside or i think it's gonna rain throw me a lean-to over my motorcycle and pow there we go uh a lot of your cover concealment's gonna be what you're wrapped up in you know I carry a blue tarp with me sometimes if I'm going camping I know I'm not gonna be out urban camping or you know I'm not going on a long trip but I know the actual area I'm going to where the color don't matter <coughs> if you got a bright orange tent <coughs> you're not gonna pitch that without somebody seeing it 
you might get lucky and find one of these you know tent cities or homeless towns where you might get away with that you just blend right in because they don't know that you're not homeless and you know you can seal your bike and everything right underneath your tarp if you got a big enough tarp uh for the most part you're not going to run into something like that unless you just happen to look up you're going to be in a walmart parking lot or a truck stop or a rest area so you're going to want to like leave your bike or somewhere where it's out of traffic out of lane traffic you know avenues of approach uh and then you're going to want to wander off this a little ways you know still keeping your stuff in distance so you can watch it uh but you're going to want to wander off a little ways sometimes in the camp you know the rest areas that's what they're there for you can actually just bed down right beside your bike uh, the biggest thing i carry a pup tent with me it's green so it kind of blends in you want something that's going to blend in if you're going to do over camping if you got that bright orange tent leave it on your bike you're about to get you know carry you something that'll cover a poncho liner uh, a piece of camouflage a camouflage tarp, something that'll blend in you know black's always a good idea if you can get a black tent black tarp uh it blends in it'll seal wet at night so you just gotta kind of watch your review don't be on top of a ridge because you can see the silhouette on the ridge. Um, biggest thing, cowboy camp. Grab you something you can wrap up in that will camouflage you. Grab your sleeping bag or whatever you want to sleep in. It's a hot day, just, you know, go find a bush to crawl under or whatever. You just make sure that you know what's in your surroundings, your avenues approach. If somebody's walk up to you, you hear them or see them. You know, when you're sleeping like that, you sleep with one eye open. Uh, you kind of get that if you've ever been in jail or been in the military you know you sleep with one eye open everybody sleeps with one eye open you hear everything that's going on something don't fit in you wake up and it's a habit most people have got it you know when something ain't right it's just like you know when you're you're sitting around you can feel somebody watching you I feel like you get that you know it's a sixth sense kind of thing um you never fully go to sleep whenever you're out on the road until you get to your actual campsite where you know you're secure whether it be a campground or a hotel or whatever. Um, some people can't even sleep at hotels. But the biggest thing is cover and conceal. Like I said, make sure you know you know what can approach you. Make sure you're you know your surroundings. It's always good to know your surroundings anyway. Uh, if you can be beside a wall or in a corner, you know that's a good thing you're gonna you know you got warrants and stuff out on you don't get to where you can't run but you know if you're in a corner you know there's only one avenue of approach to that corner you know uh, concealment just hide yourself I mean a lot of times if I'm in a Walmart I'll leave my bike and I always like to park next to a buggy where they buggy return that way you know need be People who turn buggies, are going, it's a high visible area where people will see your motorcycle. Uh, you know, make sure that it's okay to camp out. Like I said, the rest areas, most time it is. You gotta be out of the way. You don't wanna get rode by 18 wheel or something. Uh, I wrap up my cowboy camp. So I'll take my tarp, I'll put my sleeping bag inside my tarp, and I'll roll up in my pup tent, which is green, by me a thing of grass or, you know, some, a tree line somewhere roll up in it you can't be seen uh i think for the most part that's the easiest way to do it at walmart's you know they have an area for campers so a lot of times you just camp out right side your bike uh you do want to make sure that like there is like an island grass or you know your average approach you got an rv on each side lets people know say hey i'm gonna camp out here for a while is that cool i ain't invading your space you know that goes back to give respect give respect but they'll also kind of watch out for you they will get ready to leave, so you might want to wake up and be aware that we're leaving, so you'll have an open space here. You know, or you want to block it off, you can go between two RVs. Find some way that you can be seen from each end of the RV so people don't come pulling in there real quick and not see you. Uh, you know, your security is up to you. Your concealments and cover is up to you. Ain't nobody going to be there to protect you but you. So that's kind of what you got to do. Okay, well I've rambled on enough, so if you got any questions, leave me a question, leave me a comment. We're working on uh, a couple of few things as far as being able to do some giveaways and stuff like the bigger channels do. Just hang with me. 
But until next time, get out there. This is big old, big old world. Be free, live free. See you next time. Like and subscribe. Free zone. You don't forget. Hit that bell so you can tell when we are.